Hey bodies, welcome to Bus Games, my name is Simon. Today we're looking at Whistle Mountain. Now, years have passed since the, I guess, foray into the American West, and now we are looking to invest all of those lovely profits into such things as gold and copper and various other metals, as well as whistles. So choo-choo, here we are. There are gonna be some victory tokens in here. We've also got various other things that we're gonna be using to going out with, and objectives as well. Now, the artwork was the first thing that caught me. That's what really appealed to me about this game. It's a game I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. It's a mid-weight Euro, very bright, I think classic in my opinion, kind of a Western feel look to it, based on other Western themed games I've played, such as the Western era. I mean, of course, it is in the Wild West and it is uh, all to do with trains. And that game is because, of course, Railroad Revolution. So how similar is this game going to be? No idea. Different designers, designers I have never heard of before. We're talking about the two designers, Scott Caputo and Luke Laurie. This is a game by Bezier Games. You can find other games on the channel by Bezier, such as my One Night Ultimate Werewolf and even my One Week Ultimate Werewolf, which isn't as a video, but it is as a written review. So this particular game is for two to four players. It takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. Tomorrow I'll be playing as a three with Rob and Michelle. Any questions, do let me know in the comments are best on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You may have actually spotted this game on the shelf in my best of the month video in, in the background. So obviously it wasn't then because this is only just being opened and I'm unlike in 1980 or 1887, I was not time traveling as of course Dr. Emmett Brown was. However, if you want to head through to the podcast, obviously check that out via the description on YouTube. Also head through to Instagram as well, where you'll find pictures over there too, as well as TikTok, X, Threads, and there are various other places too. And again, any questions, you can speak to me via YouTube because this does get shared elsewhere. Please do, of course, share as well, and of course, like, and let me just make sure we're zooming in a little bit more until we get onto the board. So yes, this does seem a very nice appeal, very nice table presence. And uh, yeah, I think, I think they've done a good job of that art. Like I said, art these days, I think is very, very important to kind of get people's attention. There's so many games out there, you need to have something that stands out. So this bright kind of yellowy, uh, orange color on that front cover looks really good. This is a Kallax size ticket to ride game. Again, another board game that is revolving around trains. There are many games about trains. It's one of the most popular mechanisms, or most popular setting that you do get for board games. In fact, I believe it's number one because of all of the 18XX games. So that's something you might want to consider about other games. Maybe check out my various playlists. There's over 100, including stuff to do with trains. Also had a setup plane review. In this case, it's an unboxing teaser trailer preview playlist. You'll find this in. And also, I believe, in a family rate playlist as well. So we nearly punched out most of the stuff. We have lots of baggies. Uh, generally speaking, I do recommend you punch out your baggies, get your stuff ready, because most of the stuff will be sorted into those respective areas. There's a deeper dive into this just to see what else we've got. There are some more punch boards. Also, again, being a Euro-style game, check it out my videos coming to do with top 10 Euro games, or maybe top five, as well as also, look at this lovely jigsaw thing you're putting together. Also check out my Asian top five or top 10 as well, which I think you'll find of interest. That is gonna be a uh, collaborative effort with Jay over in the United States. So there we go, that's most things punched out. I think we're gonna zoom out now and leave you to it. Let's leave you with that uh, Whistle Mountain box cover again. Very, very nice. And lastly, if we just have a look at the density of that rule book, let's see how many pages we're talking about. So we've got a nice player reference on the back. I haven't seen any player aids, but there might well be one. 20 pages for now. That's been Whistle Mountain. Back to the table.